So welcome back for the second half of the Nif Youth Football League match number 18 in progress and second half is just going to kick off and right now Orco Football Academy having a lead of two goals Nif Youth Football League 2021 which is presented by New JK Roadways and it is organized by Nif and in collaboration with JNK Sports Council and it is sponsored by Khyber Milik Purity of Kashmir match number 18 Tankpura Football Academy versus Arco Football Academy. Arco Football Academy's number 17 will start the proceedings for the second half and they are having a lead of 2-0 against Tankpura Football Academy. The team in whites is the team of Arco Football Academy and the team in yellows is the team of Tankpura Football Academy. Right now lagging behind with two goals against Arco Football Academy. We are here from the combox. I am Irshad Mohyuddin and with me is Bilal Ahmed who is a former national player. Here he goes. He sends it to his winger. That's number 8 on the left side. And it has been sent forward. The ball has been snatched by the another winger. That from the opponent side. That is a Tank Fora Football Academy. He goes forward. Number 4. And ball goes out of the touch line for a throw in in favor of Arco Football Academy. Arco is having a lead 2 nil. Time for Tankpura Football Academy to come back with resilience. And right now they are lagging behind with 2 nil. If they will get a goal here, yes, certainly they will manage to find some ways to correct their mistakes which they have done in the first half here comes the goalkeeper in charge he collects he sends it now for his outfielders with long bomb kick it just lands outside the circle and taken by the number five with a trap foot trapped and now he sends it forward and there was no such attempt to kept it in bounds by the opponent's player and say certainly let it to go out and goalkeeper now goes with his kick he placed it in fact for his defender and defender now going forward with a shorter kick and it has been taken by number 11 ball has been snatched from him left footer comes into play and he sends it ball goes near to the touch line it is and now she goes out of the line and throw in here goes in favor of Tangpura football academy and that's on the backdrop the Zahid Shafi who is coach of Real Kashmir FC the snow leopards of Kashmir here he goes towards number 18 on the right side he's trying to control the ball but couldn't now ball has been sent out and referee has just waved his flag that means it has gone out of the touch line throw in comes in favor of the Tangpura football academy sends it forward and it has been taken by number 11 number 11 controls the ball goes forward well block it by the winger there now he goes with a cross pass towards his under comrade that's number eight number eight couldn't control it and now he beats ball has beaten him and she goes out of the touch line throw in here goes in favor of tankpura football academy had he controlled that he could have made a possibility of something there's a little kid in that tankpura football academy look at that hardly he might be the age of it and look at that this is the beauty of this game this is the beauty of nephew football league and he has been bought down is the number four is not feeling fit he, in fact this is a good sportsmanship shown by the other comrade from the opponent team and he's feeling uh, with the left footer left foot is not fit swaying his leg in the air now two of the comrades came and they have just cancelled and he just getting up this is once again a good sportsmanship separate shown here goes number 95 for a throw in from Tangpura Football Academy sends it in ball is with number 999 has been snatched by number 11 goes forward now the kick comes a long kick towards number 17 will he gonna be able to beat him yes he does but there was no one who could have just controlled the ball in fact the striker here goes he with the kick but over the crossbars into the stands for a hoof and uh, here is the another comrade who is not feeling with uh, the left foot 
He's feeling a bit of injury. He's feeling a shooting pain there. And now he got up. Good support, man. Uh, separate in uh, between these blades. This is a good sign because at this age, if you will have these kind of separates, you are guaranteed to become a very, very good footballer. For further, here goes Mr. Bilal Ahmed. You are absolutely right. I, the, both the teams are playing their best, but unfortunately, Arco FC is winning by two goals and Tengpur FC is trying very hard. This is match number 18 and in match number 17, in which uh, SFA Srinagar won by eight goals to one against Gangbug FC. Arco FC is trying very hard to but this is one of the best team in the North Kashmir Arco FC the Te Tengpura FC is a local team it's a, it's a local club has playing one more beautiful goal has been scored by Arco FC you see there's little little bit hurdles in the uh, defense and the defense couldn't control Yes, absolutely. That was a sensational passing and with that he has no problems whatsoever and he sent it into the back of the net. So this is the goal number third, a hat-trick of the goal being scored by Arco. Here goes the replays is the number 11, Bangli down number 94, sends it to number 12 who was not fit there to get the ball. Then he gets, then he knows that I have been sent the pass. Then number 11 gets a room there and he sent it into the back of the net. So the goal number third and the hat-trick of goals against Nil of Tankpura Football Academy. You see there, you, you see there, there is a push to the number 11 player, but the referee has shown the game on, game on, he has given the advantage there and then he scored the goal. You see if the refereeing is good and he, the flow of the match is continued, he didn't whistle at that time when he was pushing the number 17 and same number 17 has, this is, see, one more goal has been scored. This is a fourth goal. Arco FC has now they knows how to score the goal. They know the way now. Yes, absolutely. It's a flurry of goals from Arco Football Academy. What a way! What a way! So it is an agony, agony for the team of Tangpura Football Academy in STC for Arco Football Club. Here goes number 70. Get the ball. Look at that. That is not a good thing. The two of the players not trying to snatch the ball. They were just watching how he will go and how he will go and he hasn't disappeared any time there and sent it into the back of the net. So the goal number four for the Arco Football Academy. Now it is very difficult for Tankpura Football Academy to come back from here on because four of the goals are just an uphill toss now for them. Here he goes. Back passes it to his defender. Defender just trying to get the ball he dribbles it now goes with a flat kick it was a vertical pass taken by his comrade but not properly and now ball has been snatched by number 11 good passing sends it to midfield and midfielder can controls the ball now he goes with a cross towards his number three number three is in the penalty area he is trying to control the ball does so and he is going now forward and he passes it to his under comrade who was trying to put a header into play but he misses there still the danger hasn't been yet tackled and good bit of a work in the air event is the goalkeeper from Tankpura football Academy. this time that's a good work done by the goalkeeper at the end here he goes right now ball is every time in the area of the Tankpura football academy they haven't managed too much of times to send the ball in the area of Arco football academy but good going here for the Arco football academy here goes the corner kick he gently passes it to his under comrade that's number 11 I would say yes number 11 goes forward oh dear this is the fifth one look at that that is the unfairness of the goalkeeper he was coming forward he could have if he could have anticipated that the kick has just left going towards that side but the defenders too are there three of the defenders were there still they couldn't done anything this is not a good thinking and here i, th I think uh, that an offside was declared yes uh, here goes Bilal uh, look that was not offside that was not offside you see that the, there, there was a uh, now there is a goal that that was also a goal the, the referee center referee has given an advantage at that time but uh, the side referee has 
put up a flag up. Yes, yes, that's what I have seen. That, 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 that is the problem. That's the, so I, we uh, discuss it firstly that if there is a good officiating and if there is a good refereeing, then there will be no problem. He has given advantage, there is a foul against him, but he is still carrying the ball. At that time, the flow of the match is continue. So we do not want to disturb the flow of the match. That is the rule and that is the law. If there is a flow of match, you should continue the flow of the match. Then you do not whistle every time. If you whistle every time, the flow of the match doesn't look yes, it doesn't yes, look nice. Disturbs that disturbs them. Yes, yes, absolutely. Now the fifth one here he goes for the sixth one, but he has been blocked and the defenders this time done a right thing and he collects the ball and he's going forward now is the defender. He's very, very swiftly going forward. Ball has been taken. In fact, sent to another comrade who is unable to control it, and ball goes out of the touch line. The referee's flag comes out. Yes, absolutely, we have seen that. Uh, in fact, the flow of the game should go continue, as you mentioned, Mr. Blalsab. Yes, absolutely. And after that, when the goal was scored, when the ball has been sent into the back of the net, then the advantage was given to the Tank Pora Football Academy that the goal was illegal one. And now, and after that, after few seconds, I would say, and then the fifth goal was scored. Yeah, he goes with the kick. That is a flurry of goals, as you mentioned that before. That uh, before this match, eight of the goals were scored against Gangbug Football Academy. So, yes, uh, today we have seen a flurry of goals. Sometimes we haven't seen so many. And today is the day of goals. Yes, Arco Football Academy five on the board, and Tankpora Football Academy is yet to get off the back. Here, ball has been placed for the defender. He goes forward for his so gentle pass. They don't need the gentle pass, I would say, because they need kicks. They need kicks, so long kicks, and they are not doing so because they are in need of a goal. They should go for a strike. Here is the team of Tankpora Football Academy. Every now and then, ball is in their area, not going to the opponent's area. That is the area of Arco Football. Academy goalkeeper should go for a long kicks here. He should go for the bombs because his team is desperately need of a goal because that will be a moral booster for this game. I would say the further they will going to play, and that will be a moral booster for them. And here they are lagging behind with five goals. That's an uphill task, very difficult to task. And unfortunate matter is for the team of Arco in fact for Tankpora Football Academy that the second session has just started and three of the goals have been scored here it's right now in the penalty area number 16 trying to get the ball he passes it to number 17 number 70 gives a pass to his number 10 but number 10 was not on time he couldn't react and now the ball has been kicked forward goalkeeper was anticipating on time and he got there and gobbles the ball now kicks it very high this is what the goalkeeper needs to do but he has been he should be helped by the midfielders as well as the strikers need to strike very hard here he goes with the kick that's a hoof that in the Ooh, the crossbar for a free goal kick in favor of Tankpura Football Academy. That's the area where we haven't seen too much of the balls going forward from the head. It's just in their area, just in front of the circles. And beyond that, we haven't seen too much of time as the ball going in the area of Arco Football Academy. Here he goes with the short pass once again to his defender. Defender now going forward. Well taken. He is going forward very well. Now sent it to his winger. Winger was not at the very place where he should have been and ball has been sent out for a throw in in their favor that is in favor of let's wait and watch in whose favor it goes yes it goes in favor of Arco Football Academy good going here for Arco Football Academy yes as you mentioned I say that uh, I would say that this is the only team from the northern part who is uh, I would say uh, the younger team Yes, uh, there is a Baramula FC, but not that much renowned as is Arco because they are renowned only for their senior team. Yes, if that's very true. And in Arco's senior team, there are so many players like Maraj, Muzamil, and uh, two or three others who are very much talented. Here he sends a pass to his number 17. Number 17 has no problems whatsoever. And this is the sixth one. So half a dozen of a goals being scored by the Arco Football Academy. What an absolute agony for the Tankpura Football Academy. They might be praying for that this game should end now here on because we are getting conceding goals each and every moment. So six of the goals belts up.
Absolutely right. Now the Arco FC knows the way where where they can score the goals. Tankpura FC sometimes sometimes trying to, but unfortunately they are playing a small passes. They have to kick the ball. They have to play a long passes so that they will beat the defend defenders. Otherwise, it's very difficult to beat the defenders of Arco FC. These are this um, Arco FC is a professional team. Now uh, they are uh, regularly they are practicing, and uh, Tengpur FC is not so professional. And everything that has been seen in this match, this is I think so. This is a free kick has been awarded to the Arco FC. The player is in real pain. Is absolutely as you mentioned that Arco FC is. Uh, Every day they are practicing that same sort of work to be done by the Tangpora Football Academy's management. They need to look at the mistakes. They need to where their team went wrong, and yes, they need to correct those. They need to clarify. They need to, uh, in fact, to rectify those uh, mistakes, and so that their team will not face such sort of a humiliating five nil on the board. In fact, it's the sixth. Six of the goals have been scored yet. Uh, the goal hasn't been changed. It's six against nil of Tangpura Football Academy. Six of the goals have been scored, and match number 18, second half is in progress. Six of the goals have been. So you are talking about that the Tangpura FC is in zero and or. But uh, I think this is a development. If the youth has been participating in by NIF in collaboration with JNK Sports Council and it is sponsored by Khyber Milik, Purity of Kashmir. Here goes number four, taking some few backyard stops. Will we gonna see the goal number six? And we should be thankful also to the weather. The weather conditions have been better so that's why we are here. We are doing this and had the weather shouldn't have spotted it was very much unable to organize such league in this part of the world that's the Kashmir where it is shivering conditions right now minus one degrees two degrees yesterday it was 1.7 so the conditions but in the days period these kind of games should happen here goes number four he goes with the kick that's a hoof and went into the stands and into the parking area she goes and it will be brought back and five of the girls for Orco Football Academy Tankpura Football Academy is yet to get off the mark they haven't seen in that energy as one should be that ball has been replaced now goalkeeper goes with a shorter pass to his defender who is on the left side now he goes with a cross towards his uh, Andrew Comrie who just put his head into play but couldn't control it ball is right now in the center with the central players he goes forward in fact and now ball being taken by 
the midfielder from the Tankpura Football Academy. He goes forward. That's not a good passing. Look at that. He was not knowing where the player's exact position is. He sets it blindly, blinded forwarded. He sets it. And number five was brought down from the Arco Football Club. He's not feeling fit with his right knee. And this is a good sign that the players just going towards it and getting him up. Here's a drop in ball. He sends it to number 14 taken. Number 14 sends it to his gently sends to his number 11. Number 11 going forward but not with a good passing. And the ball was too much swifter. She goes out of the byline for a free goal kick. Yes, uh, we should be thankful to the NIF, the organizing body of NIF by organizing such an event, giving opportunity to these youths. Yes, I would say that uh, one thing is very much clear that schools are closed today, so batteries for these youths to showcase their talent as uh, we have in schools the virtual classes, virtual mode classes. So not uh, too much of it. There is too much of time for these youths. To go far attend their classes as well and with sidelining look at that is six hardly he might be of six years age that's the beauty that is the beauty of NIF youth football league we need these six years seven years kids in the grounds that's why the NIF youth football league has been organized we need every youth come and support the football a beautiful kick beautiful save there Arco FC is trying very hard now to Beautiful kick number 12. Look at the power and look at the save. Beautiful save. Corner kick has been awarded in favor of Arco FC. Tengpura FC is defending is not appropriate we can say that Arco FC is so mature and they are playing a good football yes absolutely uh, if they are defending uh, line should have been very much smarter we could have to have seen five of the goals against their team here he goes the central fielder he kicks it it's a very very flat kick but there is only one way the goalkeeper comes out in fact he couldn't stop it and now he just going there it's going to be a goal kick in their favor that's for the arc in fact the tank for a football academy and uh, yes we were talking about by organizing such a league giving a platform to these uh, young kids uh, they are trying to showcase their talent to go further with the football yes uh, academics is too much must but uh, with uh, simultaneously you need these kind of activities as well and uh, NIF has provided that opportunity to its youths. This live broadcast has been telecasted throughout India. Every year there is a scouting has been done. The All India Football Federation has seen this league. They are seeing who is the best player there. They are scouting the player there. Definitely everybody is watching this league. The youth, everyone, if you have to scout the player, you have to scout the player from the youth, from the league. So everyone is watching this. This is the initiative the NIF has done that so that these boys should be in the limelights in India, in, in the Indian football. That is that is the scenario of this league. So that in uh, in Super 8s you will see the scouting will be done here too. The, from all india football federation there should be there are some scouting has been done here too they will come here and see uh, if there is a talented boy here definitely he was playing for the india yes absolutely scouting is very much must and uh, these youths might be knowing that that uh, somebody is watching us so it is going to be a penalty kick and uh, Oh dear, oh dear. It's going in favor of the Arco Football Academy. Number four has placed the ball where the penalty was done. And I don't think that he will spare any moment in sending into the back of the net. Because they have scored the goals with too much of back power in that area from Tank for a Football Academy. Now it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one chance for the goalkeeper and to the striker. That's number four 
from the Arco Football Academy. You will see in All India Football Federation. So yeah, simple as simple as you can see on your screens. And six of the goal has been scored now. Arco Football Academy. Half a dozen of the goals been scored against Tankwara Football Academy, who hasn't yet gone off the mark even. Here goes number four. This is the replays, which has been played by the Prisic Film Productions director, Mr. Javed Saab. Here he goes. He goes with the right footer. First he paused. That is, we would say that he was trying to disguise that goalkeeper. And this is one kind of a sickle in the football and he has exactly shown that. He goes now with his kick. Right now in the center. The ball is in the center. Now he goes with the cross towards his number 17 who was trying to trap that. Yes, he does so but he was bungled down. And the defenders took and controlled the ball. Now he goes with the kick. That's not a smart kick. Look at that. That's not a good passing. We haven't seen the passing as good as we have seen from these Arco football players and this is where they are lacking the passing hasn't been accurate although there are some kids six seven eight playing in that but still they need to learn from their mistakes what they have done today and we would expect that with the next match they will come better here he goes with a short pass to his central defender Defender controls the ball. He goes forward, trying to bisect it between the two. He does so, going forward very nicely. Like it's a very good passing. It was a very, he was dribbling very well with his super footwork. But now ball has been taken once again by his comrade who was the defender on the left side. Ball has been taken by that young little kid. And he sends it forward. Right now ball is near to that, uh, in fact, the center line. Ball has been taken by the captain of Arco. He sends it to number 17. Number 17 trying to find some room. But he was blocked. And uh, this is a very good move right now shown by the defenders. That's why they need to accurate at uh, the very beginning. But the time has flown now. And... Uh, not a good condition for them six of the goals have been scored again as to look at this young kid what he could have done there but look at that he sends it passes to number 16 but 16 couldn't control ball goes out of the byline for a free goal kick yes we are discussing about the scouting here but scouting is very important every team in india every team in foreign has they have their focus is only in for the grass route if the grass route is good, then that means their senior teams is good. You need you need a supply. This is the supply. We don't focus on it. The initiative of NIF is that we should focus on the youth so that our team. Oh, one more injury will be there. Arco FC's player has down there. Arco FC is already leaded by 6-0. So, National and International Football Forum has this initiative so that the youth has been channelized in a right direction. Our motto, our aim and our goal is only to show them a right way, show them a right path in the field of football that is the motto of NIF because in every country they are dependent on their youths if the youth is good that means their national team is good in every club they are scouting the players from the grassroots level so that it will give him the long services whether it is country or for their clubs but this team has this this initiative has been lacking in in Jammu and Kashmir. We come forward for this initiative so that our grassroots level will be developed so that the national team will be good and our state team will be good. Yes, absolutely. This is an unbiased approach shown by the organizing body of the NIF that providing such platform. That's an unbiased approach, I would say, because. Uh, when the players at the grassroots level this was the first attempt done by the striker there but still he wasn't there was a chance he could have sent it into the back of the net two of the minutes are left in this game as blal Saab is having an eye on the watch as well and 
right now number 10 is going towards it and he controls the ball he's going forward he's the defender on that left side of his goal post and he was brought down and referee has blown his whistle foul has been declared foul has been committed and it is going to be a free kick the foul kick goes here in favor of Arco football academy in fact and the yellow card too has been shown a sign of warning to that comrade of uh, although he hasn't on his backside the jersey number so that we could have recognized him but the news is that foul kick here goes in favor of arco football club number six of the goals have been scored and on the other side of the screen you have nil it's a good platform yes these kind of events leagues should happen every year every six months i would say because these are the young kids they need a lot of hard work if they want to go further this is one we can say that it is a sustainable development because when you develop with them today and tomorrow they will be big stars that's why we can say that it is a sustainable development kind of a league exactly you are absolutely right you will see the uh, in all india football federation if you have a senior team in playing in i league there is mandatory for the grassroots there should be a grassroots level team for him right. junior team we can say under 14 under 16 under 17 why because they need their supply they, there should be a supply for the senior teams if they will not do this that means it will finish so that is with that is that is the initiative what the nif has been brought forward for this youth of jammu and kashmir so that they will come forward and see what is new because this type of platform is very important for the youth so they know how, where they are lacking what is what is to do what not to do where we can choose our future this is the right platform for this Arco FC is playing tremendously in this match. Tengpura FC has trying hard to score, but unfortunately they didn't. Co Sometimes they they've shown their promise. They shown their little bitles. But look at one more number sixteen, number ten. Oh, unfortunately this has been. It should be a goal, but unfortunately, they are showing their inexperience. They are yes, absolutely. They are. That's we can say the lack of experience, and that is we are watching right now on the screens, and uh, the time is flying for the team of Tankpura Football Academy. In fact, I am. I do have the sympathies as well that they should score a first goal here so that it can be a moral booster for them, but. Arco is not providing any opportunity at defending line is correct midfielders are doing very good job they are not allowing them to enter into their territory and that's where they need to look at in the next game is the team of Tankpura Football Academy here he goes with the kick that's a long kick and he sends it that's well on target will he gonna be able to enter into the penalty area two of the players are trying four and 14 is there he has to beat them if he want to enter but he is going with his cyclist. That's a good move. There's a youngster as well. You could have sent it towards him. Now look at that. Goalkeeper comes in charge. He went in the air and put his both hands in picture and sends it forward. Ball is in the center. Going towards number 10. Number 10 Bangli down. One of the player who is down there. He now passes it to three. Three is trying to find the appropriate. He does so. He finds number 10. Number 10 goes with the pass towards the other comrade. That was not there. And ball has been taken by the defender. And defender now going forward towards his winger. Winger is near to that touch line. He has been snatched by the comrade from another team. That is from the team of Arco Football Academy. Ball has been taken by the winger. Now he goes forward. In fact, it's a backward for this team and now sends it once again towards number 16 goalkeeper comes out he just trying to control the ball couldn't and he has gone to the place where he belongs to that is the into that uh, in front of the post and the ball has crossed the line it is going to be a throw in throw in here goes in favor of uh, the tank for a football academy that uh, young kid has been replaced by the other comrade whistle has been blown and that 
thrown throw in was declared illegal now he has to rethrow it is that number 3 from the team of arco here is number 16 who is trying to beat three of the defenders he was absolutely fine there he was trying to beat them but now the ball has crossed the line it is going to be let's wait and watch will it going to be a corner kick yes corner kick has been given in favor of arco football academy the mountain of agonies for the uh, tankpora football academy six of the goals against nil here goes number 3 he goes with his right footer that's a very flat very flat and fast kick but it just went outside of the byline it's going to be a goal kick now might be a last yes this might be the last kick and 5 minutes time extra time has been given we were with our watch and here the last whistle of the match has been blown so the arco football academy have won it by 6-0 is the margin and what a fantastic victory for arco football club and agony agony for the tankpora football academy and we are taking a bit of a breather and we will be back live with the match number 19 which is just coming up and we are going down for the presentation ceremony So welcome back to the post match presentation ceremony and uh, today match number 18 was played between Tankpora Football Academy versus Arco Football Academy which was won by Arco Football Academy with a margin of 6 against none by the team of Tankpora Football Academy we have with us the guest today Mr Hasibur Rahman that is SSP SDRF and uh, he will present the man of the match trophy to Mr Kashif from Arco Football Academy the trophy and he Mr Hasibur Rahman will present also present the 1500 rupees check cash in fact to Kashif and let's have few words with Kashif काशिप बहुत ही जबरदस्त खेल का मुजाहरा आपने पेश किया है छह शून्य की आपने यहाँ पर विक्ट्री ली है तो क्या कहना चाहेंगे इस बार जी सर मैं ये कहना चाहूँगा कि जो हमारी टीम ने परफॉर्मेंस दी आज उससे मैं बहुत खुश हूँ क्योंकि मतलब जो जिसने भी खेला बहुत मतलब हंड्रेड परसेंट दिया हर एक ने हंड्रेड परसेंट दिया तभी तभी जाके हमने आज मैच में किया अब मुझे ये बताइए कि जहाँ पे आप प्रैक्टिस करते हैं आप प्रैक्टिस कहाँ पे करते हैं क्योंकि जिस ये जो टीम है ये नॉर्थ कश्मीर से बिलोंग करते हैं कहाँ पे आप प्रैक्टिस करते हैं सर हम वहीं लोकल ग्राउंड में प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की जरूरत है वहाँ पे वहाँ पे सर मतलब यूथ्स मतलब जहाँ वहाँ की यूथ बहुत टैलेंटेड है वहाँ पे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की जरूरत है बाकी हम कर रहे हैं जो बिल्कुल आपकी बात जो है आगे भी पहुँचाई पहुँचाई जाएगी कि वहाँ पर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की जरूरत है और बिल्कुल आपकी टीम ने बहुत ही जबरदस्त खेल का मुजाहरा किया तो आपको हमारी तरफ से बहुत बहुत मुबारक थैंक यू सर तो हमारे यस यहाँ पे हस में है हमारे साथ हमारे गेस्ट जो कि हसीबुर रहमान साहब इनसे भी बात करेंगे इस बारे में सर इस वक्त पहली बार वादी कश्मीर में इस तरीके की लीग का इनका किया गया है निफ्ट द्वारा तो ये बहुत ही एक जबरदस्त प्लेटफॉर्म है सर आप इस बारे में और पहली मरतबा इसको जो है लाइव कवरेज दी जा रही है फिर से फिल्म प्रोडक्शंस की जानव से जो निफ का जो फेसबुक पेज है तो उस पर पहली बार चलाई जा रही है सर क्या कहना चाहेंगे आप इसके बारे में देखें एक बहुत अच्छा इनिशिएटिव है ड्यूरिंग विंटर मंथ्स आप देखें कि सर्दी का मौसम है विंटर्स में आप देखेंगे कि मैक्सिमम लोग इंडोर रहना प्रेफर करते हैं लेकिन आज जब मैं यहाँ पे आया मैंने देखा हमारा जो अंडर सिक्सटीन के बॉयज हैं एक बहुत अच्छा खेल का मुजाहरा कर रहे थे और एक बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी उनको मिली हुई है एन को बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद जिन्होंने ये टूर्नामेंट ऑर्गेनाइज किया है इससे एक तो ये होगा कि जो टैलेंट हमारा पूरा वैली में हिडन टैलेंट है उसको हम जाहिर कर सकते हैं उसको बाहर ला सकते हैं तो एक बहुत ही अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी इन बॉयज़ के लिए भी है कि वो अपना टैलेंट को शोकेस करें और मुझे लगता है कि जिस तरह आप पूरा रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं मैचेस को आपको भी पता चलेगा कि किस में कितनी काबिलियत है उनको आप फोर फ्रंट पर लाएंगे और जो दूर दराज इलाकों में भी बच्चे हैं उनको प्रॉपर अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलेगी बिल्कुल यहाँ पर अगर देखा जाए तो बहुत वादी कश्मीर के मुख्तलि अजला से बहुत सारी टीमें हैं जैसे कि अभी टैंकपोरा की टीम थी इस वक्त आरको फुटबॉल की टीम जो है जो कि सोपोर से बिलोंग करती है इससे पहले भी कुपवारा की भी टीम है तो ज़्यादातर शिकायतें यही आती हैं कि वो टीमें यही कह रही हैं दैट वी आर लैकिंग द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एट दियर सो दैट वी कुड हैव द बेटर प्रैक्टिस दियर सो दैट वी कुड हैव शो कैज द टेलेंट इन दैट दिस टर्फ एज वेल 
अभी आ, मैं भी नोट कर रहा हूँ कि जे एंड के स्पोर्ट्स काउंसिल अभी डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे पहुँच रहे हैं और डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडकोार्टर्स पे काफ़ी फैसिलिटीज़ क्रिएट करने की कोशिश की जा रही है लेकिन मुझे लगता है अभी इसमें बहुत ज़रूरत है और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर क्रिएट करने की हमारा जो रूरल एरिया का यूथ है इसमें बहुत ज़्यादा टैलेंट है अगर वहाँ पर भी प्रॉपर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और फैसिलिटीज़ क्रिएट की जाएँ मुझे लगता है कि हम नेशनल इंटरनेशनल लेवल के प्लेयर्स भी क्रिएट कर सकते हैं उनको भी मौका मिल सकता है Yes, that's absolutely true. Thank you, sir, for uh, uh, chatting with us. And this is all we have from the presentation ceremony down here.